Away, this is Crossbeats Production, and thank you once again for tuning in. So I want to share with you guys this uh, free plugin. It's actually a audio clipper, and to be honest, I can't get enough of audio clippers. I think they're really handy for different uses inside of your mix. If you're not familiar with what they are, get yourself familiar with an audio clipper. But just as a brief overview, basically what they do is they cut off transients that are really peaking in your mix. So this one has a control of the ceiling, so you can see these red lines here kind of control where the actual levels are controlled at. And um, you can put input signal into it, obviously you control the output as well. I'll just set that back to zero and then zero and zero. And it's got HQ, so high quality, and obviously less off high quality and you can bypass it. So it's a pretty basic plugin, but super useful if you wanna put it on like a drum kit that you have you know, transients that you don't want sticking out in the mix. You can kind of buzz cut it off and it'll allow you to then control the transients and the peaks of where those uh, drum hits actually hit. So that's a cool plugin for free. It'll be in the description below. Check it out. I just want to show you kind of what it does to the audio signal as well. You can see in this graph kind of what it does already, but just as a, an idea, um, I'm also using another plugin which I've just recently found out about, and it's called Atlas. This plugin, I want to do an in-depth review and just go over it, but for now, I just want to give you a brief uh, highlight of what it is. So Atlas is a unique kind of plugin. From what I can tell, it's um, something that's not really done yet in this audio space but what it allows you to do is it's got this thing called maps so you've got maps on this section here which you can create your own kits it's got a welcome pack as well and add a new map obviously so when you do that you search your computer it browses whatever location you tell it to search and it will find all your drum samples or sample loops in that regard um, and correlate them into what they call a map so that map then looks like this color-coded section here so if i just go into my kits i'll just load that up you've got these color coded sections here which it shows you kicks toms others snares hi-hats all that good stuff the rides and bongos and it'll put it all down here so this is even further you can dra drag and drop into your kit or onto your project just like that so you've got this already set ready to go and you can play with the sample if you wanted to um, just the same if you had impact you could drop it onto one of the kits there so i'll just show you just so you guys know uh, what i'm talking about so if you had impact loaded up um, and you want to create a new kit that you've never heard before just get your samples you can get it from either here so i'll just go to tom just drop it straight onto impact and there you go you've got your tom and what the cool thing is just as a quick overview is that kind of has the same kind of flavor with the sounds so they try and get them to mesh together so you know that's the thing i find sometimes difficult is when you have random kits on your your computer Trying to get them to all work together sometimes is a bit tedious and that kills your workflow. And that's why I think this is really handy um, in that respect. So that's in demo mode. It's currently, I think, $99 on their website, but it will go up later on. So just be careful when you go and purchase it if you're looking later on in this video um, that it doesn't go up in price. But that's that. So let's get into buzz cut and I'll just quickly show you on a meter what this is actually doing and um, just also show you a couple of neat tricks with it so we'll just get rid of impact we don't need that right now and i'm going to play buzz cut on a full mix so a master that i've got so a track i created and also on the kit that i've got in here as well to show you examples of what it's doing so let's go through the samples with uh, the buzz cut on and off and show you what it does to the transient so you guys can see how effective this plugin actually is in reducing volume but not losing too much of the kick and um, all the transient sort of sound that you get from the the drum kit that you've got so this is going to be a meter that'll show you what's going on so let's go without the plug-in on first i'll disable it so that it's not affecting this at all and then we'll enable it um, this is actually just increasing the volume by 6 db so that the actual volume's enough for the video and just blocking some dc as well so yeah let's go into the plug-in of atlas and just see what we've got so i've got this kit that's playing i'll just show you this now with this, I just want to point out to you, this is at minus six right now. And you can see, I'll just bring the meters up a bit. So you can see with the actual um, meter, it's uh, a bit to the left, more so with the volume at some points. So what I'm going to do with the buzz cut when I enable it, I'll just bring it on there and I'll reduce with the volume some of the ceiling. So I'll just pull down this ceiling a bit and that will cut some of the transients that originally are peaking. 
and it'll create sort of a, a lower volume, but perceived wise, it sounds like it's the same volume. So this is why clipping can be super useful. It can actually bring down some of the actual uh, levels with transients and still allow the perceived volume to be quite high. And then in that case, because you're bringing it down, say 6 dB, you're allowing some extra headroom in your mix for other parts to sit in that space. So this is super useful. So let's just go with this plugin. I'll just leave it disabled. We'll play the, the loop and then we'll go from there. Now watch the transients when I put it on. I'll just show you that. And we'll turn it off and then just watch the levels here and also watch the transients. So we're still getting some of the volume that we were getting before, but we've lost 6 dB of actual volume, the peak transients. So, I mean, you can add a transient master if you wanted to after it to allow some additional transients to come back. That's something you could do. Just bear in mind that it obviously increase a little bit of the actual volume again. Excuse me. Actually, what I might do, just show you guys um, with a transient master. So let's type in transient because I've got a few. Uh, all right, we'll just use the Transient Master through um, Native Instruments. So we'll just chuck that on there and to see what happens with the actual transients after we put this on here. So Buzzcut's playing with it on. Transient Master, let's go. So theoretically, you could add some transients back. Again, just making note that it does increase the volume a little bit. You can pull the gain down to obviously make up for that, but I think it just depends on what you're trying to achieve in the mix. So let's just play that with the reduced volume. So yeah, so anyway, that's with Transient Master on. I don't need it really. I don't think I would use it anyway. But Buzzcut's super useful for that type of thing. It's really useful for a lot of different things inside the mix that you just want to control. I've even noticed using it on bass, it adds a little bit of harmonics um, further up in the spectrum. So that's super useful, even without even being used. Um, sometimes just to cut the peaks on the bass as well. Really useful in that regard. So that's on the Atlas drums. We'll just get rid of that since we don't really need it any further. And I just wanted to show you buzz cut on the actual full master so you can see kind of what happens here as well. Um, just bear in mind, obviously on a master track, it's going to be already cut off. The, the transients have already kind of peaked a bit because I've used an L2 to cut some of it. It hasn't really cut off ridiculous amounts, but um, just so you know, you know, you're looking for some of these transients to be cut off there. So just uh, as a test really more than anything i just want to see what it does and secondly so you guys can see it and obviously you can try it out on your mix since this is a free plugin so let's go have a listen to that yeah let's play the mix and we'll unmute that So you can see when I got to about there, it really starts to distort. And that's the kind of thing you'd get with any kind of digital clipping anyway. But some of this can be useful if you're just looking at getting some of the peaks off of the actual transients. But again, I mean, you've got to be real careful. There are sort of distortion characteristics that start to play. Just another, another thing briefly as well, if you hit this little dial down here, it'll bring up this page here, which you can actually use the um, buzz cut in mid side mode if you wanted to. So by putting a splitter on, put your buzz cut here, and obviously then you've got a mix tool. Just get mix tool and drop that onto your mix like so. Open that up, 
and you can put it into mid side just block the uh, dc offset there and uh, go back there and then just control or actually sorry option alt bring that back up to the top and this one at the bottom here just put an additional 6 db because it loses um, the gain through this whole process so it loses 3 db either side so 6 db makes up at the end and then you've got it in mid side mode so you can put buzz cut on mid side And there you are, some decreased volume for the mids of the actual channel of the mix and it leaves the sides alone altogether. So that's just a little tip. I mean, I don't know, it depends on what you're trying to achieve, but there's just little tips there you can use for other things as well as compression, EQ and all that stuff there, distortion, whatever you want really. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like, subscribe and uh, in the comments below, make your comments about what you think about the buzz cut. If you have downloaded it, if you haven't, try it out. I'll leave it in the description below and I shall catch you guys on the next one for Atlas Review as well. Peace out.